Hello everybody, Patrick Show here. Today, we're going to be doing a let's try of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. And I'd like to thank Alice for providing me a code for uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. This is going to be my first time playing uh, through through this game. I'm completely blind. Of course, this is just a let's try. So we're going to be taking about an hour or so through, through the beginning of the game. Again, not really sure what's going on. People said that this has like, you know, amazing story to this game. So I just have to try this uh, again. This code has was provided to me by Alice. So thank you, Alice. Ha hashtag product provided by Alice Sega. You know, the thing. Uh, if you guys are interested to buying the game yourself, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. Uh, if you guys were that would help support the channel and also support Alice if you would like to do so uh a, a percentage of the proceeds you go to me just ju just saying that using that amazon fulfilling to be you know as trans transparent as possible so there's that so without further ado let's just get right into 13 sentinels let's see what this game is about people say that it's good the story is amazing it's so intertwined there are 13 characters in here so with the Stories going in and out, back and forth, and whatnot. So, let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see. Also, Vanillaware. This would be my second Vanillaware game. I did play uh, Dragon's Crown on PS3 because it was free, like for PS Plus, I believe. So, uh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, that 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 music, that music just popped in. Now uh, this game is also available on uh, PS4. If you guys would like to take on that, I'm playing obviously the Switch version, which just recently came out. Uh, obviously English, because dumb. Um, I'm an English speaker. I understand English. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large okay. unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi Joe, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. That's an interesting, you know, kind of like layering, layering style. Die. Die. <laughs> oh, hello. Godzilla? So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Get in the robot, Shinji! <laughs> Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Okay. Oh yeah. So from what I've seen like from like Am I inside mm. the robot? Right before like the oh, game, the PS4 version came out, like they showed off a little bit of this the gameplay, and apparently it's a uh, like a uh, was like, it's like a tactical like RPG it. or like a no real time it's RPG, exact. real time strategy, uh, RPG kind of thing. She is naked. J j just, it's, just it's okay. It's funny how, how my mind window is just right, right over <laughs> her, 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 
or there's some lead second half Why are they naked? No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this. Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nano machines inside your brain. Nano machines. You also have a direct feed of information from the Sentinel sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Y yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how this? Okay, tutorial attack. To control your pilots, move the cursor over to a over a pilot and select A. Once menu once menu is open, press A to select action and destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. Okay. Uh, action, arm on, okay. So they'll all, whoever's in this way here is just going to get hit. Okay. Now, uh. Select action and destroy the enemy using multi-rocket launchers. Now, like I said before, I literally never played an RTS game. Never played real-time strategy game. Usually, you know, tactic, tactical turn base. You know, like, uh, like in uh, Devil Survivor 2, uh, Fire Emblem. I played those kind of, you know, like, you know, tactical RPG of sorts. So having this be real time is something absolutely brand new to me. Never played, never played anything like XCOM or like Mario plus Rabbids, you know, that stuff. Never play that. So again, completely brand new to me. And it was one reason why I was pretty hesitant about this game. Just, you know, it's, it's real time strategy. So like I, I, I want I want to plan out my stuff so okay um adjust the attack range with left stick to target as many enemies as possible okay so all of them are in the area so let's do this okay Another one. Sentinel number thirteen activated. The thirteenth session sentinel. Who? Sentinel's been transmitted behind you for you, Sakakun. But who is it? Kurabe. This is Sentinel number thirteen. Moving to cover for you, Sakasan. Kurabe. What are you Kurabe. doing here? Isn't he? Doing this in my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until we call for 
for backup, Izumi. My name is Juro Kurabe. So who's Izumi? I wonder. Select action, then select heavy knuckle. Use the left stick to attack the enemies in front of you while moving around. Okay. Alright, so... Let's do it. Maybe a twin of sorts. Okay, so victory. All right. It's not that bad for now, but I feel like it's going to get a lot more complex as you know I play through the game. Me? Juro Karabe story is now available. Okay. So, our first guy out of 13. Uh, let me just see this. Uh, so, hmm. Story, uh... Okay, I, I don't want to meet the characters just yet. No, 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 no not yet. Okay, so that's the autosave. Not that many slots. But we do have three different percentages. I wonder what, what, what that all means. So I've gotten 2% of something. Don't know what that means. Uh, options. Uh. Well, look, let's load that a bit. Auto advance off because I, I want to say some things if something happens. Uh, let's put that to one. Uh, the first one, okay, uh, uh, mm. uh, stop on unread yet, sure, uh, character introductions, sure. That's a whole lot of stuff there. But anyways, uh, let's see what Juro is all about. Okay. Juro Karabe. Story of Juro Karabe. A few days ago, Sakura High, high School cl Class 1B. May 1985. Ooh. This again? What is going on? Come on, Jiro. Let's go home. Hey, hey, Bedniskin. Shiba-kun. Okay, basing controls. Left stick to move. Press A to talk to people. See, so, yeah, if I, like... If I remember from, like, Dragon's Crown and a little bit of Own Spear, like, a whole lot of Vanillaware's games are, like, mainly 2D, right? Yeah, they're mainly 2D with the, this kind of, like, little bit 3D effect where kind of go like back and forth like this and you go left and right but like the art style is I, I do like vanilla wears art style just the gameplay can be kind of iffy for me just depending on, on you know what what they do for the game and it feels like you know not every game they do is the same like Odin Sphere to Dragon's Crown to this is feels like diff completely different games with their own different uh you know like gameplay styles that they're not really like the same or really like oh yeah i know what to do well, i played a vanilla Wear game i know what to do it's like no uh let me just you know just look around a little bit see if i can talk to people talk to you i do like the lighting how it just goes he got dark Go close to light, close to light. That, that that is pretty cool. I, I like that. I like that. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. 
uh, Kyu Toshiba has been added to the Thought Cloud. Uh, sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Uh, looks like the word keyword is a little bit highlighted. It looks like a different color than the other, like a little light blue. Press X to open the thought of cloud to select and uh, contemplate keywords. Okay. She becomes a bit of a class clown. But he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. But I kind of feel like we're gonna. There's gonna be a lot of voice dialogue in this game. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Oh yeah, back in the day, we like nowadays we don't have like really like you know rentals anymore. Kind of, it might be a red box here and there, but like. Rentals are like kind of thing of the past. Now there's no more barring movies anymore. You can essentially, you know, hey, just watch it all in line. There you go. Just your here's your streaming service. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already. But now back the day, you gotta, gotta go to a place to get rented. Bring it back if you don't bring it back on time, you're gonna pay a fee. <laughs> you wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fights in the city. Super Sentai? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Baby Tab has been added to the Thought Cloud. Some keywords can be used on other characters. Uh, when this option is available, an X appears above their head. Huh. She becomes a butt. Uh, okay. So if there's a line that connects to the person, then you know you do that. Okay. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. See, this is what we call a VH VHS tape, and it doesn't automatically rewind. No, you, you gotta hit the button on the VCR, and then you gotta rewind all the way back. You gotta wait for it. it doesn't in instantly, you know, bring you back to the beginning. <laughs> sure, yeah. You really turned into a movie buff, huh? Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Hey, a lot of people nowadays don't know the d difference either, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Okay. Uh, Iori Ryusaka. Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. She the girl who? who yeah, pretty, pretty sure she was. She's the one who had that thing on the thigh and who was in the mecca. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Oh. Was that really a movie? She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. He's the girl of your dreams, man. I can't help but be a little <laughs> curious about her. Okay, so can't talk. Hey, by the way, oh. I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. Wait, is it her or is it the girl in the back there uh, that we saw earlier? I've got to. Oh crap! Give me a minute. I'll be right back. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hmm. That one video. Shall we go home with Sammy chan Uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. It's Nanji kun right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but Yuri chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. 
<laughs> Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. Then stop being in our conversations. <laughs> I don't know why, but that that's just reminding me like of another character who who like kind of like like tugs on her hair, just like I I just don't remember who. Hold on a sec, Mew. Did you need? So uh, as I I I, I, I just want to talk to you, man. Can 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 I talk? Can I talk to you, please? Hey, Fuyusaka-san, rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe kun? You're bless blushing a bit. Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. Dreaming about the Mecca? I had another weird dream. And you were there. Ooh. <laughs> huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Oh, this sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. <laughs> uh, sorry for you, Saka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> Yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. Hey, hey. Hey, look. Oh, let me talk to you. Ah, dang it. I guess single girls walk home alone. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, I'll come on. Next time. I mean, I'm here. Hey. You know, you can talk to me. Hey, sorry. Got to go. Got to go. Dang. I mean, just want to talk. I love the uh, view from the old classroom, but the new one's not bad either. I can see the whole. It's just a whole, whole bunch of dialogue in this game. Like, I mean, that, that that's that's cool. That's cool. Everyone's training hard with their teams. What? They're really I know I shouldn't another. tease you like that. Maybe I should join a but club But it's your too. fault for keeping secrets from me. I do think like if there's dialogue that's happening right now, previous dialogue should just, you know, kind of either be lowered down a bit or just be completely muted. Uh, let's see. Can I talk? Can I talk to you? No? Uh, okay. Can I leave? What am I missing here? But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy in quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're <laughs> just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. New Amiguchi. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. <laughs> On top okay. of that, his family is rich. Ooh, rich guy. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Okay, oh, uh, let's you know, talk to him about it. The Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. Okay, let's so. Let's go to the cafeteria. Grab your stuff and come on. Karabi kun. Um. Hey, Karabi kun. What is it, Sawatari san? Oh, she sure she. Does she want to see, you know? Hey, want to walk home with me? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Oh, well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? The papers are on the podium. You yeah, see that? Uh... Okay. Trying to see if you know any connections you, you, we, we might have. Yes, that's right. Please take care of it. 
Okay. Uh, stack of papers. Hmm. What's that marker up on the top right? Sorry. I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. <sighs> Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Okay. Do you know what the stack says? It was oh, excellent. Right, my bag. It'd be a hassle to come back here just for that. She becomes right every once in a while. I should bring it with me. Okay, uh, your bag is this it? Yep, there we go. Okay, in digital controls, hold R to fast forward text. Uh, fast forwarding will automatically pause on on red text. Uh, press minus to view the text log. Press plus to open the pause menu and select manual to. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so let's go to the nurse office. Let's see who 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 this nurse is. Excuse me. She's not here. Uh, anything in here? Uh, well, uh, we can examine this. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? <clears throat> There's a document with my picture on it. Oh. Okay. What is this? Read it. Read it. I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? Hmm. It's my photo, but... Do you have a twin? The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Oh, uh, what? What? The patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? Been, you been using drugs? <laughs> oh, Karabekun. Hamna, 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 ha. The ha. The. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, hi, 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 uh, uh, hi, 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 hi. What brings you here? Anything I can do for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I, I, I am running a fever. I need you to feel my head. Is it, is it hot? Uh. I think you forgot these. Oh my. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Kurabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shibakun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. But Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? Condition. Can I talk about it to myself? No. Okay. Just. Would you mind telling me about your condition? Okay. Well, condition. let's talk about our condition. You know, any heart palpitations, dizziness, uh, uh, the hop, ha, ha, boobas, ha, ha, titties, ah, uh, must not stop staring. I mean, must stop staring. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Are you getting enough sleep at night? Not with helping you, you. Why do you ask? <laughs> There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. Free drugs! No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. 
I, I just I do like like how like the characters are just like just how the characters look like just like it looks like is is water art the right word for it like like it doesn't look like like just something like that's drawn like you know on something like you know like like digitally like it looks like it was like first like painted on like on a canvas using like some like like some water paint or something like that and then like chance her digitally like like that, that, that that's what I, that's what I get from like these character models and like the background and, like and whatnot because it's like is that that it just looks good like, like I do like how, how like it looks there's something else you needed your number would you like some medicine after all uh, mm. I can can I get your number come on can I can I get your number oh uh Miss see you Morimura, have you seen Amiguchi kun anywhere Amiguchi kun the first year I just made my rounds but Booba. I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. Hopefully she's a more important character later on. <laughs> well, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Aw. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hayake Cho Shopping District. Something wrong? Uh, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. Mm. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty handed. What? That old ass kaiju flick? Hey, hey, Kaiju Flicks, you know, they, they, they're cool. Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> it's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Giant robots are cool, man. What, what, what can you say? Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Nah. Uh, Mighty Kaiju Daimos. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Actually, let me just... You no, know, nothing else. Okay. <sighs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Miyuki and Naba sure is popular these days. Whole lot of voice dialogue. I like that. Commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? And like, not really expected, like, especially in like Japanese games, like, like not even like in Tales of Arise that came out late last year had dialogues for like every like side character or like hey, NPC. Aren't we going home? Wrong way, man. I know. I'm uh, j j j j just checking, you know. Come on, Juro. Let's go home. All right. It's just. Isn't responding. The, the activation. What? I know I did it right. What? Why won't it start? You know this guy? Miura kun. Miura. Sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look really beaten up. You look awful. Well, you you want to watch the mighty Kaiju demos? <laughs> Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Uh, got a giant slash on your forehead and it's glowing blue. I mean, uh, I don't really think that's okay. 
your forehead. Did it just light oh. up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. <sighs> oh, now my hand's blue. What's going on? What the? I didn't know it was exclamation point. No. What's going on? This is bad. Oh. Oh. Sentinel oh no. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Oh no. Don't tell me. Are you? What uh oh. Over there. What the heck? Is that a robot? Giant robot. Let's go. Wait, it looks different. That's the robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. What? What? Do you, do you, do you know what's going on? Do you know what's going on? I did that? Okino's damn code. He knows what's going on. Forced activation protocol. My dude, my 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 buddy. You 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 know about the sentinel? Well, this will be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. What? I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. What? Shibaku. One run. What? Excuse me? Okay, so, uh... Got the prologue in, so we got eight mystery files and four event archives. And that's 11%. Is that 11% just for him? Huh. Oh, okay. All right. Yori Fuyasaka story is not available. Okay, I can't switch characters. So let's start two. Okay, so two percent, one percent. Huh. Let's start with the Yori then. The story of Yori Fuyasaka. K830. Okay, I'm late. I'm late. Oh god, it, it's your usual anime protagonist starring running with a piece of toast in your mouth. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. And they're late. Like always. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Is that Erica uh, Harlicker? That sounds like her. Might not be her, Almost but. There. Oh. No. What happened to your toast? Hey, you alright? Hansu. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Huh? Is this Wait, game ring T for or M? <laughs> oh no! It's the morning assembly! Oh, you forgot your book. An uncanny resemblance. To who? Huh? Did she drop this? I mean, it wasn't there before, so it has to be. A student ID. First year. Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> cat. Kitty cat. Might be worth looking into. Hmm. What's his deal? Good morning, sleepyhead. Wait, it's morning? 
Looks like it's evening. You were sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Okay, are, are, are we all new here? Or what? Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Miko Sawatari has been at Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Yeah. Alright. Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Hmm. Let's see, and guys talking about anything? You look like you might be born back here, maybe? Oh no. Okay, uh. Fuck. Talk to me. You too, Kisaragi san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. Is that something to do with the Hiragana Kanakana kind of thing? In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Tell me Kisaragi. Like, I feel like it has to be something with, like, like how the characters are. In Japanese, just like, huh, playing like certain characters together is this word. I'm guessing. Usami chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. All right. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami chan? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. You're someone special, aren't you? Not saying where you are, so are you from the future, perhaps? Oh. Uh, sorry, I have to ask. Usami chan. Yeah? You and Goto senpai, are you close? <laughs> Goto? Nah, not really. Eh. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Is he now? Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh, don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Uh, let's see who to talk to, who to talk to, uh... Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. <laughs> oh, um... Kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Aw, uh, really? adorable. <laughs> Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um... You think so? Maybe. Cute guy. Who? Hmm. What is this? My heart is racing. Ah, uh, my heart goes doki doki for this cute guy. Ah. Uh. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? No, I don't think so. Maybe he's from a different school. You sure yawn a lot. She tired. Are you a night owl? I am. Not really. It's just. I'm only recording this like. Sorry, past midnight. <laughs> I keep having strange dreams. Keep having these weird thoughts lately. Like, are they for real or not? They keep me up at night. <laughs> what kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded by flames, like. A burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. I don't. And then I woke up. Uh. You know something? Just check, you know, every once in a while, because we don't know. Don't know. Is it lunchtime yet? 
Still out of it, I see. Oh. Is it lunch? Still out of it. Okay, so it looks like Tex turns red if there's nothing else to talk to. Like, it's kind of hard to see on my screen right here, but I can kind of see it better on my uh, on my uh, monitor here. My monitor slash TV. <laughs> Other TV. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um, you're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. All right. Nope. Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. Natsuno. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Okay, I'm I'm still confused about like what's that in the top right? Like I see an X and I see that red line there. Like what what's that supposed to mean? Is it your class next door, not chess? Don't worry about it. I have to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Okay, so, uh, all building. school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year, but I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. Yeah, I'm seeing that there... Looks like it's still, they're still using wood, or looks like wood, like, seating, desk, where nowadays, you know, metal, plastic, what, what not? I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Oh. nami -san. there you are. Christina? Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? Yeah, that, that is definitely Christina. The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. The black and white cat? Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Hmm. I think I know that kitty. Uh, okay, does it say anything? It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Yep, we've seen it. Dang. No <laughs> fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Okay. Let's go look hmm. for that cat. Guess that nap did her some good. <laughs> Oh, break time. Break time. Ready? I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Hmm, if we just turn our head and body, we can just... <gasps> cat! It's a cat! It's a cat! And I walk close like this. What are you doing hiding back here? Meow. Huh? Where'd it go? Imagine it talk like old well, it talks like Sailor from from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. If you guys even know that show. But why? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe kun with Amiguchi kun. We have something here. Amiguchi kun. What? This isn't like you. What? Why are you blushing? Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. What? You feel it, right? 
What? <laughs> Are you guys talking about robots? I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyasaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. So is this after the, the giant mech came down and whatnot? We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? Oh. I'm just guessing just by from the, the bars there, just like we have two green ones. One red and X. So there has to be something like around here that it, it contributes to. Hmm. Whenever my heart starts, it's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? I don't know, maybe. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Here's the sleeping pills. <laughs> Every day, they keep me up. <sighs> okay, uh... Just had to see, like, why is this thing not going... Oh, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe the two bars maybe represent... Oh, hey, uh, there's some, you know, things you can talk about, you know, in, in, uh, in these thoughts. So, uh... Why is there? Oh, maybe, uh, because uh, I was about to say this looks a bit red, like the shading around it is red. Wow, this is green. I don't know. I don't know. Eh, so let's talk about this. Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff different every time i don't even think they're in chronological order like this game but they do seem related hmm. weird thing is same goes for this guy it's like we're seeing the same stuff the more he tells me the more i think it all lines up why are you wouldn't winking makes you think our dreams are connected hmm. usami chan said she oh I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? Telepathy? In my video game? Nah. Not that. Maybe it's a vision of the future. Dad. No, not gonna lie. I do have that sometimes. Like, when I... Sometimes when I dream, I have these, like, visions of the future that... Felt like it could happen, and once it does, you're like, "Holy cow! I had I had this dream that it happened," or like, "Oh wait, I had this dream it, it, that is gonna happen. Let me do something th so that it doesn't happen." I don't know why I like, because sometimes like I feel like if I let this dream come true, something bad's gonna happen. Like I, I don't know if it's just me or 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 what. Just eh. the future. Anyway, I'm just saying, whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. <sighs> I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. Yeah, this school definitely looks old. Like, really old. Like, all of it's made out of wood and whatnot. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Okay, to be continued? Okay. Three mystery files obtained. Three event archives obtained. 
Okay. Wait, what? Uh, let me save here. What the heck? Battle preparation? What are we talking about here? What? Uh, oh, okay. God, that, 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 that scared me a bit. I thought that was an actual, like, thunder, like, what? May 27th, 432 p.m. Naked. In some places. You're in a second generation sentinel. It weighs around 2200 tons. Okay, so G2. I'm guessing that's what it means. Second ge generation 2. With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. You keep talking about them like that. What are these D-forces? He's not... Uh... There's a kaiju. Dam Damos? That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. That's got to be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D Forces invasion point. Okay. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Make your way towards the terminal, which is the invader's target. Story will move. Choose the sentinel and select move from the menu. Use left stick to move the cursor to where you want to go, and press A to start moving. Okay. Number fifteen, moving out. Oh, okay. That's where you send the signal to the terminal, three hundred meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it. That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning, Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Oh, oh. Key. Uh, tutorial lost condition. You must protect the terminal until the self defense system Aegis is activated. Damage to the terminal is shown in the top left of the screen. Okay, so I see that there's a 10,000. Uh, if this defense gauge is depleted, or even if one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Okay. Switching pilots. You can switch. The pilots you control with the button change the pilots depending on the situation. How do I? Number 15. Move 
machine within enemy threat range. Here goes. Yes, I'm okay now. I have to focus. Uh, let's try this. Uh. Yield what now? Number thirteen, moving out. Okay. Oh, uh. Just let's go for this. Got it. Nice. Fuck it. I can do it. It worked. Ooh, okay. Can't mess this up. That's it. How's that? Is it dead? I did it. What? 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 Confirmed. This area is now protected. Okay, okay, good. Are your sentinels still operational? I guess. Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. We got another Who's wave. There? Takatoshi Hijiyama. You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Aichi Tang? Takatoshi Hijiyama. Because it sounds well, uh, like, uh, uh, Ichiban a little bit. I've come to Okay, uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama's story is now available. Hmm. But I think it would be best to call it here. Because it's about an hour now. I have work in the morning. So, let's call it here. We've seen two people's, you know, essentially prologue. And got a little bit more into combat. And... I'm a little bit interesting, a little, little bit interested, in, you know, like with the story just, you know, slowly coming into a, uh, uh, c c coming to life, you know, slowly one by one. We're slowly meeting the characters. So, like, literally, like with uh, the first guy, just like, hey, I'm just gonna knock you out. Like, his best friend, just like, I'm gonna knock you out because, uh, yeah, this is, isn't really supposed to be happening. Uh, the girl there is just like, uh, yeah, I'm in, I've crushed on this girl, uh, on this boy, and, uh, also being other people who has this same dream and whatnot. Now we met this guy in the battlefield, so we're slowly piecing together one by one. Uh, and I'm also thinking, you know, some of the characters we met in the class are gonna be, you know, main characters that, you know, we're gonna be, be playing as, so... It's, it's gonna take a bit and I've seen people say that it takes a while for everything to just come together for for this game so yeah this is gonna be a really interesting game to play so so far the art style looks really good I love how it looks the story it's building it's building I can see that and you know not giving us the complete story and just giving us bit by bit by bit with each character it's that, that that's a that's an interesting way of storytelling instead of like you know having yeah just play through this one character get their soul side of the story get this one character get this soul side of the story no they're they're piecing piece by bit and that that that's interesting you know storytelling music so far it's 
it's eh, but then again we're just starting we're literally just starting this game and you know the characters i like them so far i like them so far but uh yeah that's you know as my you know first impression of this game i think it's pretty cool yeah uh if you guys are interested in picking up this game whether it be for switch or ps4 use my aim talk feeling down in the description below any of the proceeds do help out with the channel and uh, once again, this uh, game has been uh, given to me by Alice. So thank you, Alice, for Alice Sega for giving me you know, this code to show to my audience and, you know, help spread the word of 13 Sentinels Ages Frim. Thank you very much. I highly appreciate it. my first ever, you know, hashtag sponsored by Alice video. Glad this happened. No, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, we can do more in the future, you know, with, you know, the the the, the, the persona stuff happening, you know, only this year. Hopefully, we, we can work on stuff like that, you know, please, 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 Alice, please, please. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with our friends. Check the links in the description below for my social media links. Uh, pick up this game if you want. And... I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Power out. Yeah.